This is Finished Work TV, a place of inspiration, wisdom, and revelation. As you listen and receive God's Word today, your life will never remain the same. In the Word, I have to receive the Word. I have to believe the Word. I have to meditate on the word before I can have manifestation of the word there has to be the receiving of the word in Proverbs chapter 4 from verse 20 it said my son attend to my word I have to receive God's word before I can see the manifestation of the word the area where I need to see deliverance healing and power I need to receive God's word in that area so receiving the word is the first step to the manifestation of God's word I want to say that again I said receiving the word of God is the first step to the manifestation of the word you know you can be a Christian but never receive the word you can be a Christian but you don't align with Somebody can align with what their doctor told them. Somebody can be a Christian and don't align with the word of God. To align with God's word, I have to be intentional about God's word. I said for me to align myself with the word of God, I have to be intentional about the word. If the word of God is going to work for me, it's because I decided to allow the word work for me. The word of God doesn't just work for people, it works for people that work it. I said God's word does not just work for people, it works for people that work it. There has to be you being intentional about it. I have to be intentional about God's word for the word to work for me. I'd like us to go to Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8. Hallelujah. A healing will be manifestation as we believe the word of God. Healing will be manifestation. All kinds of healing is taking place this morning. Hallelujah. Your body is healed. Your finances are healed. Everything around you is receiving the healing touch of God. Hallelujah. In Matthew chapter 8 verse 5, now Jesus had entered Capernaum. A centurion came to him pleading with him. Verse 6, Matthew chapter 8, verse 6, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. Verse 7, and Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. Now, this established the fact that Jesus is always willing to heal people. Whether the person is born again or is not born again, Jesus can heal them. <laughs> Somebody will say, why did you say that? This man here was not born again. Hallelujah. So if you're a born again child of God, you have an inheritance of a healing, wholeness, and health. It is the will of God for you to be healthy. To be healthy mentally. To be healthy emotionally. To be healthy bodily. God wants, and, and most sickness and disease is connected to emotional crisis. Most times that people have issue of health, sometimes it started with emotional crisis. They were not stable emotionally. Maybe there is an issue they are dealing with and they begin to feel this frustration. And from that frustration, it led to worry, anxiety, and it led to their health breaking down. So it is important for we to take care of our emotions. And for you to take care of your emotion, you must learn to cast your cares on God. Hallelujah. I don't have to worry about it, but I can trust God with it. Casting your cares on God is one of the ways you secure your emotion. Casting your cares, 1 Peter 5, verse 7. Is it casting your cares upon him? That he cares for you. You cast your cares on God. Instead of worry, give God praise. Instead of depression, give God thanks. The things you couldn't do today, if you trust God, you will do them tomorrow. Hallelujah. 
and sometimes when people begin to worry they open door for sickness and disease worry depression and fear has a potential to affect your body worry there is how you stress yourself and your body breaks down and the reason why people worry most of the time is in their inability to see that God can help them they are not seeing God as their helper they are trying in all their efforts in the natural to ensure that they have the results in the area where they have their dreams, their vision, or their desire. And sometimes when there is a delay and they don't know how to handle that delay, it produces it produce pressure, it produces depression, it produces anxiety. That is why the Bible said, cast your cares upon the Lord. He said, take no thought for tomorrow. Those scriptures are healing scriptures. Take no thought for tomorrow. One of the reasons why people get sick sometimes is that when they begin to look at their lives and they ask themselves a question, what have I achieved? What have I gotten from life? No, listen to this. If you have life, you have opportunity. If you have life, you have future. So instead of you worrying about your life, cast your cares on God. I trust God with this marriage. I trust God with this child. I trust God with this business. I trust God. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to trust God with it. Because trusting God puts you in a position of living a worry-free life. One of the keys to a worry-free life is to trust God. One of the keys to a worry-free life is to trust God. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to trust God with it. I'm going to trust God for miracle. I'm going to trust God for transformation. And can I say this to you? Worry will open the door for depression, for anxiety, and for frustration. Protecting your emotional health will help you in protecting your mental health and your body. Protecting your emotional health. Refuse to worry. That is why you have Philippians 2 verse 5. In Philippians 2 verse 5, he said, let this mind be in you that is in Christ Jesus. I don't have to worry about this. I don't have to worry about the future. I don't have to worry, oh, rent is about to get due. My God will supply all my needs. Children's school fees is about to get due. My God will supply all my needs. I have this and this, and this to do, but there is no fun. No fun, but God will supply all my need. Get this mindset that God is your source. God is your source of provision. God is your source for healing and health. Get this mentality that God is my source. I refuse to worry. Hallelujah. Because when you begin to worry, that simply means you're not walking by faith. If you're walking by faith, you'll be in the place of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. I said all of that to read this scripture to you because... Most people become sick because they begin to worry about life, worry about achievement, worry about this area of life. Any area of your life that is not working right now, start speaking the word over that area and expect a miracle. Any area of your life that you notice that things are not working at, begin to send forth the word of God in that area. Liken it to Ezekiel 37, where the bones were dry and God got the attention of the prophet Ezekiel and said, prophesy to these bones there are people when they are going through problem and challenges the first thing they do is to disconnect from God God I've been praying I've been praying I've been fasting I've been giving I've been going to church why haven't my situation changed some changes will come when you begin to have some mental adjustment mental adjustment I said some changes will begin when you begin to do some mental adjustment when you begin to do some spiritual adjustment in what you believe, in what you believe, as a man believes in his heart. Bible talk about out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Hallelujah. The will of God for us is to stay healthy, to stay healthy mentally, to stay healthy emotionally, to stay healthy spiritually, and to stay healthy bodily. He is healthy. You're far from sickness and disease. One of the key to taking care of high blood pressure is to choose to rest in God's ability. One of the keys to take care of the BP issue is to choose to rest in God. God, I trust you with this. I'm not going to worry about this. You know what I like about children? Children, especially from the age of two and three. Two and three. 
they have a way of trusting their parents. If you tell them you're going to bring biscuit, they believe the biscuit will come. Hallelujah. They trust that you're there. They trust that everything, my father will take care of it, my mother will take care of it. You get what I'm saying right now? They trust in their parents. The same way children of two years, one year could trust in their parents, you can trust in God that way. You can trust God to supply all your needs. Amen? Because when you begin to worry, I'm just trying to teach that worry, fear, depression, and anxiety can cause the body to break down. Unmet need is another issue. Unmet need, unpaid bills, all of those things, if you're not careful, can creep into your life and you begin to worry about the future. Hebrews 13 verse 8. Hebrews 13 verse 8. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So sometimes you look at your life, oh, this my friend have done this. Stop comparing yourself with people you don't know how they got their results. Stop comparing your... A lot of people, the, the reason why most people are going down is that they are comparing themselves with people they don't understand their source. And you begin to compare yourself, even in ministry. Desperation for success have led people into cultism and witchcraft. Desperation to be successful. Desperation. According to people, they say they won't blow. I won't blow. You know, they want to blow. Blow to where? The desperation to succeed. Make them join court groups. Make them begin to put their hand in things they shouldn't have business with. Let God be your source. The psalmist said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He says, scripture. Take that scripture. This friend is doing well. That friend is, how do you know they are doing well? How do you know who is doing well? What is your rating standard for who is doing well? If they ask you now, what is your rating standard for who is doing well? Okay, drive many cars. Uh, is that one doing well? Many cars means also many bills. Oh, he's doing well. He has a house. Is that one doing well? There are things that people see as doing well that is not really doing well. Those are basic amenities of life. You're supposed to have shelter. You're supposed to have transport. Uh huh. Who is hearing me right now? Those are basic amenities of life. Is it one thing about poverty? Eh? Poverty. Poverty makes people believe that if somebody has a car, is rich. That's a poverty mindset. It makes somebody ah, then get car now, then they rich. How do you define somebody who is rich? Is it car that makes them rich? Car is transport. Plane is transport. Boat is transport, ship is transport, train is transport. All of those things are transport medium in which people can get to their destination. But society has begun to define them as symbols of wealth. Your definition of success, I said, your definition of success should be based on purpose. You know why I'm teaching these things? This is the reason why people are sick. This my child have not succeeded. That my child have not succeeded. You can't worry about your children. Give them the right foundation and trust God for their future. I've seen children that their parents was not there for them, but they stood up and succeeded in life. Yes. I've seen over and over. I've seen people that they, their, par their parents was not there for them. I used to tell people my story. When I finished primary school for two years and three months, there was no money to send to primary school. I was at home carrying wood for my mother, going to fresh wood that we use and cook in the house. Life was difficult. Life was tough. Life was tough. But it says success is a decision. To excel is a decision. Your condition should not be your limitation. Have a vision for the quality of life you want. Hallelujah. So the setbacks of life, sometimes people look at their condition, look at the things around them, they become depressed, and from that depression, they become sick. That's why a lot of people are sick. That's why a lot of people are having health issues. They worry a lot. They worry about this. Look at these people now. Look at these other people now. Look at these people now. Look at these people now. Look at us. What is look at us? Cast your cares on the Lord. One of the ways you overcome pressure and frustration is to stop comparing yourself with others. I don't know why I'm teaching this, but this is one of the reasons why people are sick today. They compare themselves 
Have you seen where somebody is worrying about somebody's success until they fell down and become sick? A dear preacher was sharing and she went to visit another preacher and said, I thank God for your life. I thank God for what God is doing in her life. But right inside of her, she was not thanking God. She was angry. She was bitter. She was envious. She was not happy. But she came to herself and said, why am I even living like this? You see, you need to have a rethink. If people success for straight to you, it means you have no vision. If somebody su one success for straight to you, it means you have no vision for your life. If someone success was straight to you, don't let those things was straight to you. Those are the reason why people are falling sick. Look at my life. Look at where I am. And they begin to start, they start a journey that God is not into. They start doing things that God have not sent them because they want to prove a point. Let me say this to you. One of the ways to protect your health, don't try to prove a point. Because in trying to prove a point, you may do something that will make you fall sick. Yeah. Don't try to prove a point to anybody. Somebody said, is it healing mission I came for? Yes. These are the reasons why most people are sick. They are sick because they can't handle what God is doing in the life of other people. And unknowing to them that God wants to do more for them. God wants to show up in their life, but they are consumed with what is happening in somebody's life. They're worried. No, you can't live like that. You must get to a point where you believe that Jesus is your Lord. God will help me. God will strengthen me. To stay away from sickness and disease, stop comparing yourself with others. To stay away from sickness and disease, stop worrying about your life. To stay away from sickness and disease, stop pressuring yourself and stop putting yourself in a situation that could pressure